It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For today's video, I'm going to respond to the article that was done by NBC in regards to race because the content that I read inside the article was just pretty uh, ridiculous. A number of people are attempting to change their race by watching certain videos hoping to manifest physical change. They have convinced themselves it works because there's other people who have convinced themselves as well, says a media professor. Experts agree that race is not genetic. <laughs> Experts agree that race is not genetic, but they contend that even though race is a cultural construct, it's impossible to change your race because of the systemic inequalities inherent to be born to a certain race. <laughs> what we know today as race as a combination of inherent characteristics and cultural traditions passed down through generations. Race is inseparable from the systematic racial hierarchy hundreds of years in the making. Simply put, changing race is not possible because a biological race themselves are not real. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not necessarily surprised that people want to change from one race to the other race or be transracial, largely because eight years ago, there was actually a person that was part of the NAACP that was called Rachel Dolezal. And what happened was that she basically made her skin tanned and <laughs> basically tricked people that she was actually black. Let me just ask you the question in, in simple terms again, because you've sent mixed signals over the years. Are you an African-American woman? I identify as black. You identify as black. Let me put a picture up of you in your early 20s, though. Mm -hmm. And when you see this picture, is this an African-American woman? Or is that a Caucasian woman? That's I, not in my early 20s, but... Um, That's a little younger, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was 16 in that picture. Is she a Caucasian woman or an African-American woman? I would say that visibly she would be identified as, as white by people who see her. But at the time, were you identifying yourself as African American? In that picture, during that time, no. Another example of this type of <laughs> craziness is a woman named Martina. And yes, she tried her hardest to look as like a black woman as much as possible. <laughs> And now our next guest, Z Hart, you all right? Yeah, fine. Good, good. <laughs> began life in Germany as a light-skinned blonde girl, making headlines around the world when she had injections to change the color of her skin. Over the past two years, Martina Big has radically altered her appearance in order to become a black woman, and this morning has followed every step of her controversial story. When I was younger, I admired the curves of Pamela Anderson. My next step is going to pump up my lips also. My eye color has changed, my eyebrow color has changed, and I can feel in myself that I'm changing to a black woman. Um, I like the curves of black women, and I want to um, get them step by step. <laughs> okay, you know, earlier, in the article, it says that race is not necessarily biological, but personally, I cannot understand how people cannot say that race is not necessarily biological because we have plenty of evidence to demonstrate that there's like a biological component for race. When it comes down to the first ever humans, we do have data to show that humans first evolved in Africa and much of human evolution occur on that continent that the fossils of early humans who lived between six and two million years ago come directly from Africa. When it comes down to the development of white skin, it seems as though that for years, researchers have assumed that skin lightened uh, humans migrated from Africa in the Middle East into Europe about 40,000 years ago. A sun lower in the sky and shorter days lanes will have favor skin that were more synthesized vitamin D. 
When it comes down to how agents develop slanted eyes, we do know that they were actually involved to protect the eye from extreme weather conditions or high levels of ultraviolet light. One major biological component that black people have in comparison to white people or Asian is the fact that we have larger contact when it comes down to melanin in comparison to the other races. When it comes down to the average heights of races in comparison to the other races, it seems as though that black people on average are taller in comparison to Asian or Hispanic men. Now when it comes down to the bone density, it's actually quite higher for black people in comparison to the other races. This is also higher in men than women, that Asian people tend to have bone density that's as low or even lower than Caucasians, and that Hispanic people have bone density that is about the same or a little higher than Caucasians. Because of these biological reasons, no one can actually turn to like another black person because biologically and genetically, and in terms of bone density, that's impossible for somebody to basically become another race. Now, someone might be asking, well, geez, Tyler, is it the same thing for trans women and women? Biologically, yes. They cannot transform like a trans woman to a woman. That's impossible. They're just simply a trans woman. And so a woman, it has to be biologically a woman. A person who is like a race, like that's like, you know, black has to be the same race. And so, yes, there's a biological component to being like black. There's a biological component to being a woman. Before I sign out, I want to say that all the data that I use in the video to demonstrate my point, I do not actually endorse the ideas of using these data points against other people for racist reasons. I absolutely condemn that idea. And so all the data points that I brought up in this whole entire video is not to go against black people or any kind of people because of their race. I actually encourage the idea of judging people based upon their characters and not because of their skin color. That's my whole entire point. And also I'm not necessarily against people who are transgender. I'm not against people who are transgender. I'm not necessarily against other kind of people because they're different than I am. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't want <laughs> him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.